If you all are familiar with Windows 1.01, you know that you need two floppy disks in order to run it off of floppy disk. You need the startup disk and you need the system disk. However, what I have done today is I have taken the startup disk and consolidated it onto the system disk. <clears throat> now if you go ahead and you'll take a look at the startup disk, put it in a drive. Do a directory listing on it. You can see we got two files, win.com and win100.bin. These two are files required to start Windows. Just to even win.com holds the um the Microsoft logo. So if you, so it or, and the text. So if you were to delete win100.bin, it would flash to the um to the Microsoft logo for a second. And then it'll clear the screen and say could not find Win start Windows startup files. Now if you take the startup disk out, put the system disk in drive B, do another directory listing. You can see here we've got win.com and win100.bin on the system disk. Now, is there any time difference? Because on the on a regular dual floppy system, it'll take about a minute and five seconds or so. So about a minute and five seconds, minute six, maybe minute seven. So let's go ahead. You can see, go on a minute. And we'll go ahead and take a look at how long it takes to boot. Now th there is going to be a lot more drive seeking. That took 36, 37, that took 37 seconds. So it is much faster. Much faster. It's almost two times as fast to boot it off of the single floppy disk and have it to constantly go between drive A and drive B and drive A and drive B and drive A and drive B. And of course, it drops you off on drive B. If I were to go to Alt S, change directory. I still I still have the DOS disk in drive A. Then you can see all the crap that's on here. But if I were to go ahead and swap the disk out for the apps disk. Special change directory change and let it just reload the contents of drive A here and you can see that we've got our whole thing here. So and of course you've seen in the startup screen that it was 1.01 but I am not implanting an older version of win.com into Windows 1.04 let's say. This is Windows 1.01. Got 111 kilobytes disk space free, 298 kilobytes of memory free. It's a total of 512 kilobytes on this machine. So, yeah, uh, that is my video about consolidating the startup disk and the system disk together and how it makes it two times as fast to start up.